Hey, what's up guys? It's Marquez from the MKBHD channel, back with a video for the Droid Dog YouTube channel and DroidDog.com, where today we're going to be taking a look at the latest version of the Dropbox app for Android. As you guys know, they updated the app, and here we have version 2.0, which adds, number one, some functionality, and number two, uh, some good looks. So this is more optimized for versions of Android like Honeycomb and Ice Cream Sandwich, which we have here. So I'll go ahead and put in my extra secure pin, and uh, we can go ahead and take us some of the new features of the app here. Like I said, it adds some features and also changes the naming around of some of the things, so I'll just go ahead and give you a tour of it so you can get used to it. Basically, we have the typical folder list like we've normally had here. We can go into this folder called Icons, more folders, folder called Nexus, and we have our Nexus icons here. And there's, uh, obviously, the long press ability still remains, but that gives you the same options as right-clicking, or sort of pressing that menu button here, where you can share that file, you can favorite that file. Favoriting is brand new with Dropbox. You can delete the file, or you can hit more, and that gives you the ability to rename it on the spot or export it. And exporting is kind of the same as downloading, where you can save the app. That basically download, downloads it to the gallery, since there's no SD card in the Galaxy Nexus, or sharing it with a bunch of other applications. So, if you ever were wondering where that download button went, uh, it's basically now in the form of the export button, and that's the most major UI change. Up at the top here, we have our little action bar, and of course that's uh, our ICS feature, so we can quickly upload files here, view all of our favorites, and I like this. This is kind of like Google Reader. I star things that I want to come back to later. So if I want to remember a file, I'll go ahead and start in Dropbox, and I'll remember to come back to it. Then, of course, we have our contextual search, so we can search within files or search through names of files. And last but not least, here's Menu or we can instantly create a new text file or folder. So I don't think that was also in the last version of Dropbox. I love using Dropbox, but uh, it was nice. It wasn't very nice not to have that. Now we have instantly new text files, so it's kind of like a note taker as well. If we go to settings, we have, of course, the passcode lock. This hasn't changed at all. It just looks a little bit different, really. That's all that they've changed in the settings. But that's the new look at Dropbox 2.0. I'm digging the app. It's definitely a good-looking application. Uh, if you guys are looking for a finally new version, if you're holding out to optimize it for an ice cream sandwich or your new Galaxy Nexus or your Honeycomb device, it finally looks good on these devices now. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.